we've run a project here with the LLS uh, based on river health. We took a two kilometre section of Big Jack's Creek and basically stock fenced it. And what we got out of that project was really um, a, a dramatic improvement in the water quality. Uh, we've now got our uh, banks all grassed up and we're slowing down the, the flow of water in the creek. And what that means is we've really got a lot more water in the creek all of the time and we're getting more trees and, and vegetation grow. The reason we wanted to do the project was really the creek was a bit uh, um, degraded with the cattle virtually living down in the creek every day. And, and they, they plow the banks when it's wet and uh, when it's a dust bowl and it rains, then it washes all the dirt away. And then, and then next time it rains, the cattle come in and plow it again. So we had a bit of a degraded uh, creek. We had very few trees and the vegetation was pretty poor. So the, the two main components of the project have been the uh, off, provision of off-stream water because when you're fencing out the creek, the, the cattle no longer have access to, to there to drink. So we had to provide a couple of uh, troughs. We had to rip in some underground pipe to get to those troughs. And then the fencing was a major section, which we did about uh, three point two kilometres of fencing, I think. Um, and, and I guess one of, the, um, one of the other things that happens is the rehabilitation of, the, of the, the creek itself, which actually hasn't been any effort of ours. We didn't do any creek structure work. We just basically fenced it off and let the vegetation catch most of the debris. Uh, it's formed a lot of structures. It's, uh, it's picked up the water level in the creek and uh, we've got a lot cleaner water in the creek because of it. So Roger, we're talking leaky weirs and we were looking at trying to build some. Now is this one of the ones that you've had a go at? No, we, we haven't built this at all, Tim. It was, it was basically just fallen timber that's washed down in the, in the high flow events that we have and it gets caught up in between the trees there and basically builds up a bit of a pool. And it's actually lifted the, the water level here and I'd, I'd much prefer to have the water sitting in the creek yeah. here mm. than gone. We did, the, we did the project in the middle of that uh, pretty significant drought that we had recently and at the time it was sort of questionable what were we going to achieve, we had no water and we had no grass. But really we're 12 months on from when it started to rain again and the difference in the creek is just uh, night and day, it's absolutely fantastic. There is no, there is no dirt around the creek area at all. The vegetation is fantastic. We're starting to see a lot more uh, trees growing and reeds growing that are going to uh, hold these banks even better. Mm -hmm.